Hi, my name is Jackie Liu. I am a data analyst at Tesla and also a recent graduate of Practicum Biantix under the data science certification. I'm here to tell you my story about why I chose data science, why I chose Practicum, and how I was able to balance the course with my last year of undergrad and also my first job out of college. And hopefully you can relate to some of my experiences there, maybe uh, what I'm thinking uh, at, during my journey is something that you might be considering right now. And if not, at least you'll be able to at least have a better understanding of what the program is like and see if it meets your criteria. So I'm going to break out the review by first talking a little bit about myself, see if you can relate to that, and then talk about my actual experience. So a little bit about myself. I went to, I did my undergrad. Uh, in Florida studying industrial engineering. However, I did notice that my industrial engineering course was too focused in manufacturing and I didn't really exactly see myself wanting wanting to be in the manufacturing space, especially further down the line. So I wanted to develop a skill set uh, that fit my, I guess, analytic mindset and would be more useful in terms of what job uh, openings would be uh, available in the future and what I would like to do. So that's why I decided to make a pivot into the world of data science in the latter uh, half of my collegiate career. And by making this pivot, I was do studying more in statistics and programming and doing more hackathons and uh, just watching more uh, resources online. And fortunately, industrial engineering did have a relatively strong foundation in statistics and some programming, so the jump wasn't as difficult as I imagine many other students were experiencing. I was a little bit fortunate in that. And I did believe I wanted a more structured learning style to really develop that strong foundation, especially in the machine learning aspect. That was quite foreign to me. And lo and behold, I started getting some Facebook ads for uh, some of these coding boot camps, and one of them happened to be Practicum by Yandex, and they were actually looking for beta testers at the time, which was, uh, you know, an excellent opportunity for me because I was a not well-funded college student, and I thought this was going to be a great opportunity to meet my criteria of in terms of budget, and also I would have a great opportunity to have a say on how I wanted the courses to turn out in case some of the lessons turned out to be too too complicated or they needed more examples or some things that were just going to go above my head i was going to have the opportunity to have a say on how these things turned out and before i start talking about my experience with practicum i'm going to first preface it with what my goal was before coming into the program so really it was to develop a skill set that would allow me to learn more over time. I really wasn't expecting to get a job directly out of this program. Fortunately, Practicum does offer a uh, job hunting and you know, resume boosting and other real world projects that you can complement your uh, portfolio with um, on your resume uh, and, and as a perk um, outside of the program to help uh, you get a job outside of it. But um, Overall, my again, my objective was to just develop a skill set that I could help myself learn more over time if I choose to do so outside of work. So, did practical help out with that? Absolutely. Uh, knowledge is uh, definitely power in that aspect. I was able to learn a lot of different concepts that I did not learn uh, during my undergrad, and I am now able to continue working off of that fundamental knowledge and start working on some of my own side projects and with that out of the way I can I'll break down uh, some of the aspects that practicum um, had to offer uh, with, with the first one being the web browser compiler to help you learn uh, many of the fundamentals in Python it had uh, after every lesson well Sorry, I guess I, I don't know the, the nomenclature there. After every chapter then, um, it would have a hands-on project that you could really work on. It would have a, a Jupyter Notebook also built in uh, to the web browser for you to, to interact, really get your hands dirty, um, learning 
some of the important packages needed uh, in common data science, pandas, scikit-learn, and many different other uh, machine learning packages as well. It was quite useful to uh, go through all those projects. Many of the other things that's offered by this program included a pretty comprehensive community uh, with other students within your cohort and also uh, many community managers uh, as those who uh, would help you along the way in case you need additional time for uh, the lessons that you're going through. Maybe you're going through some major life event, you let them know, they will be more than happy to accommodate you, uh, put you in a different cohort if needed, and you have your mentors that would help you along the way with any of the lessons or projects, uh, any of the troubles that you might be going through. And with this, uh, with the students, managers, and uh, mentors uh, combined, you create a wonderful community for people to share uh, some of their struggles when it comes to learning, share many successes um, in terms of getting a job or um, insights found in a project or just other achievements, sharing resources. I think that was a very interesting part to have that community and I pretty appreciate that. It was good to know that I wasn't alone in this, uh, this journey of learning. And then what I previously mentioned before was uh, this additional benefit of the job uh, bolstering part uh, that was optional um, with the program where you, you will have some uh, people provide some insight on how to get a data science job within the market. Uh, they have people who are able to help you uh, work on your resume. And then there's also a uh, pretty interesting part. I remember a couple months ago, we also had a uh, a a, pr a project from a company uh, that was partnering with Practicum to get a real world solution. So that was a very very interesting project to actually attach to your portfolio and show off in some of your interviews there. So um, I was fortunate enough to not need it, but. Uh, I think I would have definitely have used it uh, if I had not been in such a fortunate position. I think the entire package really makes the overall program really wonderful. I myself personally am kind of like an independent study person, so working on the training platform and the projects by myself is usually what I would do. Well, however, having the community was especially useful because uh, many of the students within my cohort are often faster and probably smarter than me and they would have asked a lot of the questions that I was going through um, to the mentors already and they were able to provide feedback onto said question which already helped me uh, as I was looking through our community slack which was great so I could uh, get the advice I needed um, as I was going through my own lessons and projects. But having the lessons and projects uh, were really great uh, because they, I thought they did a wonderful job teaching a, many complicated uh, concepts. I think it was, um, it was definitely the best at the beginning uh, where it was, I guess, not as complicated um, teaching many of the basics of pandas and also uh, the fundamentals of machine learning through uh, linear regression and random forest but as it got to the more complicated and uh, I guess for the lack of better words sexier data science topics such as uh, computer vision and natural language processing the ones that uh, people uh, get really excited for in terms of data science uh, those were pretty hard to explain and I I think having my fundamental in engineering with uh, some math and statistics was able to uh, make my experience going through those harder concepts a little bit easier. Uh, fortunately, I did have the managers uh, and the rest of the community that was also going through it. Uh, and I, those were definitely the most interesting parts that I want to invest more time in. Uh, and those are things that are really shiny that would look great on your portfolio. And these would uh, help you uh, hit the ground running. Uh, learning these basics and then you can apply some more of these concepts on your own here uh, but those were definitely I would say took more time and uh, in terms of learning and actually executing in terms of the projects and I guess on the topic of time I was able to balance uh, the 
how I was able to balance practicum with college and also work. Um, when I would, so each lesson has a estimation of time, um, I guess varying between the workload and also uh, the complexity of the lesson. And when I was in college, fortunately, I suppose my last year uh, in undergrad wasn't as intensive compared to my other years. So I would usually spend um, my my Friday evenings just really cranking out many of these lessons and um, hoping I would get the projects within their supposed deadline. Uh, so I believe going through uh, practicum through my undergrad was easier than doing it through my actual um, job um, coming out of college. So um, I guess more of the flexibility that comes with being a college student, I was able to do that um, balancing with my other course load. But well, when it came to work, uh, I guess I was usually pretty tired by the end of it. So it made it a little bit more difficult to have that willpower to continue learning afterwards. But really, I think uh, you know having that determination and trust in yourself to uh, build up a skill set or whatever your objective is. For me, it was to build a skill set. For you, it might be to learn a uh, to learn something that can bolster your current job, or to get into a completely different industry. Being able to trust yourself and have that determination to uh, have that additional willpower to uh, even when you're tired to keep working. I think that is something that is uh, it's not easy. If it was, then everybody would do it. Everybody would be changing industries to whatever is the most lucrative at the time. But it's not easy, unfortunately. And I think um, you shouldn't be coming into this thinking that is going to be easy. Like you'll definitely have the resources readily available. But at the end of the day, it's definitely uh, you know half you know, majority of the battle is going to be based off you putting in the work. And I I really do think uh, practicum provides excellent resources for you. Uh, or everything that you need to be successful here, uh, you just gotta, you know, for anything really, you have to put in the work here. And um, being tired after uh, work was definitely a case I was experiencing, especially um, I was going through some odd hours. I was working uh, West Coast hours when I was on the East Coast, so it was a little bit difficult um, to really manage my time there. Um, but fortunately, I was able to get a hang of things uh, with the different time zones and also being able to continue uh, working for the furtherment of my education uh, and it's furtherment work um, and uh, I was able to complete the certification by uh, the end uh, I believe around February 2021 here so right now I, I do think the entire package um, really speaks for itself um, that they provide many, many great resources in terms of the community, the training platform, the projects, the mentors, the community managers, and the additional uh, projects that can help your portfolio and help boost your resume has been a wonderful experience um, to really um, set you up for success and also let's let you continue your education into the data science world because this was definitely just the tip of the iceberg uh, but this is I believe um, opens many many doors for you to work on many of your own projects maybe work on some open source projects uh, let you add some interesting uh, techniques statistics uh, and presentations into either your current job your academics uh, and can definitely add a twist and make your life easier um, if you think about some of the ways you can automate as well.